Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Bullock here, and this uh, easy algebra lesson is on solving one-step equations. Okay, when you solve equations, you do uh, order of operations backwards. Okay, so you do all your addition and subtraction first, not last. Okay, and then you do your multiplication and division later. Okay, so when you're uh, simplifying expressions, that's when you do order of operations. But when you solve equations, you do order of operations backwards. Okay, so solve each equation and check your solution. So here, I see this plus 9 here. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 9 from both sides right there. And I get uh, x equals negative 6 when I do that. And then check your solutions, you guys. So just mentally plug it back up in here. Negative 6 plus 9. Yeah, that equals 3, so that checks out. You'll find out the first couple of chapters, you guys, our solutions will check out. But um, uh, when we get into chapter, I think, 4 and up through chapter 7, we'll start getting these uh, false solutions. So for now, they'll check out. We'll talk about that when we get there. So, okay, x minus 2 equals 11. So I'm going to go ahead and add 2 to both sides. And the 2's cancel, and 11 plus 2 is 13. Go ahead and check it. 11 or 13 minus 2, yeah, that equals 11. So the answer is uh, 13. Okay, negative 4 times x equals negative 32. All right, so now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4. Okay, because it's, uh, uh, it's times 4, negative 4 times x, so we do the opposite and divide by it. Okay, here now the negatives will cancel, the 4s will cancel. Over here I have negative divided by a negative becomes a positive, and 4 goes into 32 8 times. All right, and if I just checked it, negative 4 times 8, yeah, that equals negative 32. All right. Okay, this one here. Okay, now I have a fraction. In chapter 2, we did what was called the multiplicative inverse. So I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by the inverse, which is 5 thirds. Okay, so uh, when I do that on the left over here, the 5's cancel, the 3's will cancel. Over here, 3 goes into 9 3 times, but it's a negative 3 because of the negative, excuse me, the negative 9. So I'm left with just x over here. Here I'm left with negative 3 times 5, which is negative 15. All right. Okay, here, let's try this again. Let's do another multiplicative inverse. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 7 halves. Okay, so, uh, so over here the negatives will cancel, the 7s will cancel. Here, 2 goes into 6 3 times. So I'm going to be left with uh, uh, 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. All right, I'll leave the checking on to you on that one. Okay, on this one here, you guys, uh, whenever you have a fraction equal in a fraction, uh, it's called a proportion, and we've done this before, cross-multiply on proportions, you guys. But on this guy, you guys, I'm not going to multiply 56 times 2 and divide it by 16. Blah, see, see if you can reduce this, make these numbers smaller. What number goes into 56 and 16? All right, now I know 2 does, and 4 does also, but so does 8, you guys. This is 8 times 7. This is 8 times 2. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to divide it down by 8, okay? So I get 7 over 2 now equals x over 2. Okay, so now you can go ahead and cross-multiply, you guys. You get 2x equals 14, so x must be 7. Okay, and I kind of saw it right there. 7 over 2 equals blank over 2. This has to be 7, okay? But once you had to reduce it right there, you would still get it if you did 56 times 2 equals 16x and divide whatever that is by 16. It would have been 7. Okay, over here, this one won't look, work, look so clean as this one. Uh, what number goes into 35 and 15? Let's reduce that, you guys. 5 goes into 35 7 times, into 15 3 times. So now I'm going to go ahead and cross-multiply here. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, 3 times y is 3y, 9 times uh, 7 over here. All right, then uh, you can multiply 9 times 7 if you want, but since 3 goes into 9, you guys, I'm just going to keep numbers small so, I don't have to get, so they don't get bigger and bigger and out of control. Um, and then you can see that 3 goes into 9 3 times there, so that I'm left with 3 times uh, 7 is uh, 21. All right, good job, you guys.